To national news, the unofficial end of summer is nearly upon us and with the Labor Day weekend quickly approaching. Well, many will soon be out looking for to enjoy one last getaway before the school year really kicks into high gear. Sam Brock with more on what you can expect if you're headed out of town this weekend. This Labor Day weekend, Americans are packing up and heading out in mass. I think it's just a lot of people traveling. The holiday stretch, officially tracked from Thursday to next Wednesday, will break records, according to the TSA and travel site Hopper. Right now, almost 23 million seats are expected to depart from U.S. airports over the long weekend. A key part of that equation, the price of airfares has plummeted, with Hopper calculating the average domestic flight is just $211. That's down 5% from last year and 17% compared to pre-pandemic levels. But it's not just air travel raising the bar. Gas prices averaging $3.35 nationwide are also revving up drivers. Sunday and Monday are going to be the roughest days, especially Monday. The interstates in the major metro areas like Philadelphia, Atlanta, D.C., New York, Los Angeles, they're going to be packed in those afternoon hours on Labor Day itself. When it comes to airports, the busiest, Atlanta, Chicago, Dallas, and Denver, with the three-day weekend, a last chance for families to soak up the summer sun. Domestic destinations are outpacing international ones. Seattle's the top destination. It was number one last year as well, but we've seen a 30% increase in Seattle this year. Why? It's those Alaska cruises. Speaking of Seattle, SeaTac is still recovering from an apparent cyber attack over the weekend that disrupted their website and delayed around 7,000 bags. The record-breaking summer travel season, smooth early, but it hit some speed bumps in July when 47% of flights were delayed and 13% canceled due to that crowd strike outage. Now August is on track to close with about 24% of flights disrupted, thanks in large part to Tropical Storm Debbie. Experts encouraging travelers to buy a flight disruption assistance guarantee. So if your flight is canceled or delayed for any reason, you can rebook on the next available flight on any airline.